beautiful friends, welcome to day seven of the seven day edit free video challenge. I am so excited because number one, it feels really good to complete things. But number two, I first want to, I have a story to share with you and a tip and all of that. I just want to take a moment first to acknowledge all of the amazing souls who graduated from Mindful YouTube University and you're doing the seven day challenge as we speak. Your videos are incredible. They are moving me. They are powerful. They are beautiful. And it just confirms why I created Mindful YouTube University because I'm just seeing how much gold is in each person. And all it takes sometimes is having that little push from your soul sister in California <laughs> to say, hey, you have gold in you. Let it out, let it out, let it out. So seeing the gold come out of incredible souls, um, just to name a few who are currently making videos, uh, Susan, uh, Natalie, Christine, Toomey, um, Vivian, Jennifer, Candy. Um, oh my goodness, there are many, many more and I'm going blank, but that's what's current in my head right now. So please excuse me because I know I forgot obviously a lot of people. But I would love you to put some comments below if you are part of Mindful YouTube University and you're making videos. Even people who were not part of Mindful YouTube University, like Mandy, um, who says that she's now making videos again, like that just warms my heart so much. And the reason I'm passionate about this is because the more of us who spread positive messages, the greater our world becomes. It's not about saving other people or saving our planet or saving the world. I feel it's just about co-creating a brighter one. And that's what destiny is pulsing through us. It's what is destined to happen, like whether we participate or not. So why not participate in the awakening of consciousness together? Okay, so this morning I got a call or a text from my sister and I'm going to on a family vacation shortly. And I got all of this information, like so many things changed, right? About our vacation, like suddenly. So I had to act really fast and it could have been a very stressful situation. And so I just immediately made a few changes, booked this, booked that. Like instead of, I could have easily have gone into this whole dramatic story of like, are you kidding me? Ra 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 ra. But instead I just responded to the, to the issue to the situation with trust. Like the universe has my back, everything's gonna fall into place, it's all good. So then I text my sister back, I'm like, all good, this is booked, that's done, do, 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 cool. It was like 30 minutes after I got her note. And she writes back and she's like, why can't everyone be like you? <laughs> why can't, why does everyone have to freak out and make things so dramatic? Um, and make a challenging situation worse. And it got me thinking because I used to be that person who would freak out over the little things, over change, over, you know, ch um, ch um, challenging situations. And what I realized is that it took somebody looking at me and always having a mentor, always having my teachers that are standing there looking at me and calling me out on my shubbeep, boom to take responsibility for my own state of mind and the way I respond to life. So what was once said to me, there it's both Leonard Jacobson and Satguru Shankaracharya who are two pivotal um, presences in my life, guides in my life. They have both said the same thing in different words. Leonard looked at me one day uh, several years back and he goes, you know, you're a drama queen. You know that, right? And I was like, uh, gasped, you know, and there was my drama like, uh, woe is me. He's like, you love drama. You feed off of it. You're a drama queen. He just, boom, called me out on it. And he caught me in my tracks. It stopped me and I realized, wow, I, some part of me enjoys drama. Some part of me enjoys um, friction and challenge and always having something to complain about. It was really eye-opening. Satguru Shankaracharya says it differently and he says it to every single one of us. And what he says is, you're the problem. 
you are the problem okay he's like everything is happening in life as it's happening and the way we perceive it is where the problem lies so rather than blaming other people for our misery or even blaming ourselves shaming ourselves for having done something wrong perpetuating a story that doesn't help or serve anyone it's essential to just declare wow i'm the creator of my reality how it all has to do with my mindset and I have the ability to migrate from the problem to the solution. And that's the exciting and inspiring part. A lot of people get triggered when they hear him say, you're the problem. But the truth is, we are the problem or we are the solution. And it all has to do with our minds, how we respond to things, how we think, what thoughts we um, feed, which thoughts we surrender and let go of. Knowing that the universe has my back is probably one of the biggest forms of support I have and it's taken me consistently tracking in my life because in the past when I was really riding on that drama wave the complaining wave and I still fall into this believe me from time to time but I catch it quickly and fortunately I'm also in a partnership with Jason he doesn't let that slide like we definitely mirror each other when we're getting caught in limitation and we don't stand for it so what has really helped me through the years is really looking for evidence that the universe has got me the universe has got my back because what i realized is the dramatic pattern in my own mind the complainer the blamer the shamer the one who sees life as hard and poor me woe is me oh my god that part of me never felt safe and felt like the world was on top of my shoulders and I had to do it all myself and I had to be a martyr. And life, no matter how hard I try, it's just gonna get harder and it will never be easy. It will never be graceful. So what I needed to do was first of all, radically accept the part in me that feels that way because there is a very real place inside, a child that feels afraid, who didn't have things the way she needed them as a little girl, who was severely challenged and so that part of me has received my own loving and that's where the diamond process work comes in again and again it's super essential to go into radical love radical self-love radical self-acceptance and to also open up to something much bigger beyond my own will beyond my own effort beyond beyond my own little self my own personal power and tap into infinite power tap into infinite consciousness and so what I started to do through the years is track when things work out for me, even when I think they were going the wrong way. Like for instance, the news I got this morning, I could have easily gone into a frenzy because the timing is in, like, I just don't have the bandwidth to deal with that. I was able to, one of the issues was the plans got changed. So I had to quickly book find a place to stay and all of that. Literally, I looked online within 10 minutes, found the perfect place. My instinct was so clear and spot on the beach. It's just like perfect. I get a beach vacation now. Like there was all this beautiful harmony when I let go and just moved with it and responded to the moment rather than fight, like fought against it. Um, and so that's an example of seeing, oh my God, the universe has my back. All that change happened. I've been praying, you guys, like on my desk, this is the picture on my desk. There is literally a picture of a woman walking down the beach, which is hopefully me. You know, I've been praying like, I just need a beach vacation. And I just got one, like wasn't expecting it, was planning that for my next birthday. And so it's just these little clues to see how the universe is constantly uh, reorganizing itself to respond to our heart's callings, to respond to what's best for our spirits, for our souls and it's important to see through that lens so the treasure tool is to start looking well first of all to take responsibility if you're in a dramatic situation to take responsibility if you feel like life is against you and you're exhausted and depleted the biggest depleter is this it's not it's the mind spinning its wheels trying to figure things out and overthinking and overdoing So it's taking responsibility for that addiction to overthinking and 
rather than blaming and trying to like if someone didn't do something you wanted them to do and it's all their fault because now you're so miserable that they didn't do that thing that was so important to you for example that's an opportunity to go wow it's not personal that person is just doing their thing and i need to find my own happiness inside of me i need to find my own peace inside of me and i need to um, tap into the reality that the universe has my back. How do I know this? Because I'm included in the one, in the universe, in the whole. I'm part of the fabric of life. You are part of the fabric of life. So the only thing that ever blocks our support, us from being totally supported and guided, is the overthinking and this belief that we're these separate little personal selves in these bubbles and we have to work really hard and do everything ourselves in order to make sure our lives work out. So the treasure tool is to start tapping into that infinite supply, to tap into that universal support. And the way to do that, one way I've been doing that for years, and I love it, is just tracking where when I think something's going all wrong, like I'm running super late to an appointment and I feel super bad because I don't want to you know, disrespect that person, for example, um, I arrive and the person's like, oh my God, thank God you were late. <laughs> I totally needed to make this one phone call and thank God you were late because it, it all worked out and perfect. So instead of freaking out on the road, I'm so late, let me run through lights and let me haul ass to get to where I need to get to at the right time. Instead, to just choose the present moment and be like, I'm late, I'm human, let me at least be here breathe and be present on my way to where I'm going. Another key way, like I was saying, is to look for how the universe has got my back. So to make a list and see, wow, I thought if I did things my way, I would have done this, but things changed and that was out of my control. Like the things that are out of your control, notice how those things actually later typically lead you to a much more expansive reality if you allow it and you allow yourself to see more clearly. So um, the treasure tool is really simple. Make a list of the things that you think have gone really wrong in your life. Could have been five years ago, 10 years ago, yesterday, today, and track what the result of that was. I have a friend whose husband, I'm sorry, his wife, ex-wife, cheated on him and she and with his best friend okay imagine that and this was many years ago and he had a major meltdown this is an extreme version example but it's just to show you and he was devastated he literally thought he was gonna die he was in so much pain they broke up they got divorced and he met the love of his life three years later and they're still married to this day Okay, so that's just an example of he looks back and he thanks her. He's really good friends with his ex-wife. His wife, current wife, who's totally made for him, is at peace with his ex-wife. They're friends. The, just the whole scenario is perfect and everyone's happy. So this isn't like justifying somebody cheating, but it's just knowing Shabib happens. And we can either dramatize and play victim or we can go, you know what? The universe is working in my favor right now. I don't know what it is yet, but I choose to remember and know that the universe has got my back and I'm gonna continue to look for evidence of that. So rather than believing me, this girl here making a video for you, you start to have your own evidence so you can see that it is the reality. The universe has got your back. Mm. So with that said, my friends, enjoy experiencing that reality, owning it, and moving forward in a way that's more empowering and more in alignment with the infinite magnificence that is you. I thank you so much for being on the seven day journey with me. It has been so wonderful not to edit. It's pushed my edges. Maybe I'll make another video about that. All my Shabib came up. Um, I should tell, I should totally share that. Um, <laughs> and I'll maybe do that in another video, but I love you guys. And um, let's just take a deep breath and exhale it out. One more. One more, threes, a lucky charm. Ooh. Have a beautiful weekend, my friend. And may you know 
with all of your heart that the power that is within our universe lives within you and anything you dream is possible. I will see you on Tuesday. All of my love. Mm -hmm.